All right, so I'm live, I believe so. All right, so I'm going to make this video quick. Excuse the mess in the background. I'm, I can see I'm moving and stuff. I see all these bags and everything. So pretty much I'm going to keep this short. Due to the last video that I posted about my experience at HVA, a lot of people were getting hate comments. A lot of people apparently were having issues with the comments and things that I stated about the place. So like I said before in the last video, some things I probably could have worded better, but my overall experience with the place remained the same, and I didn't enjoy myself to the extent that I feel like I could have. Um, everybody that's in the comment, people that don't agree with me, that's your prerogative. That's your thing. I'm not knocking your experience or knocking how you feel. This is my personal experience, and I'm saying how I feel about the place or how I feel about my experience there. Whether you like it or not, that's not my business. Neither do I care. Just letting people know my experience and posting what I want on my channel. Um, like I said before, um, well, let me start with the positives. Maybe that makes make some people feel better. The place, the price over the place was great. $25 all day was amazing. A lot of places, especially over here, don't do that. And I get it because you're trying to get multiple people and then COVID and stuff like that. But for the price, it was nice. The store they had there with all the different airsoft guns and stuff that you need was also great. Um, they had a lot of stuff there, which they don't have out here, which was type cool, which allowed me to get stuff, especially by like M17 and stuff like that. Like I spent overall a lot of money there and I don't regret spending a lot of money there. A lot of stuff is that I couldn't find over here where I live. So I brought it. So they had an amazing airsoft store and amazing um, pro shop. The field. Um, was pretty good. I liked the whole aesthetics of the field. It was a nice overall look. It was barely updated. It was something that was cool. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, most of the staff there was really friendly, especially behind the desk for the Air Pro Shop. Very friendly, very formative, and overall down, really nice touch. The issues that I really streamed that I have was mostly because of when I play in, as you can see in the last video, people not calling their hits, which will break down of any sport. Now, me stating that, yes, I was overall overly upset that I should have been, yes, but it was also frustrating, especially if you drive an hour and some change to go there to play and then have to deal with people not calling their heads or issues like that. And then you tried to bring it up to some staff members and it was just, it was a lot going on. And I felt like that with me personally, I wasn't enjoying it. And people that I was with wasn't enjoying it because of this. And then I posted the last video and to just post content on my channel and post with me was the best footage that I have and just post the game that I have in yesterday with the frustration with it and explain the frustration behind it. That's why I said in the beginning of the video, this is, I was really frustrated in this video and Blah, 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 blah. This is my thing, and I want to recommend this play. That was my frustration in the beginning of the video, and I just let it play. I didn't call out nobody. I didn't call out any refs or anything like that. Just let the video play, and that was it. Everybody else in these comments that are complaining you know, about this and the third, I don't know why, to be honest with you. Like, I don't know why people or why, for what. I'm playing my personal opinion of it, and everybody's taking it as a personal attack against them individually. Now, that's telling me if you're feeling you need to defend yourself individually that you must feel guilty because some of the stuff I'm saying is true, but I'm just leaving that alone. End of the day, this is how I felt about the situation, how I felt about the game. And overall, like I said, you know, the place had pros, but the cons to me overweight the pros. Now, I'm not going to sit here and go word for Bane for Bainham or go after anybody personally. Listen, if you're in the comments, if you don't like anything I said or care about anything I said, then, oh, uh, fortunately, oh, man, I can't come to Capitalist, um, the new Grim Tactical event. I wanted to. I came. To, I, wanted, I went to the uh, Radio Silence, but um, I'm moving, as you can see, and I'm getting married in June, so I can't justify the tickets. And, nah, unfortunately, I can't come to this one. I want to. But the next the next game, I'm definitely coming to. Um, I don't know what it is. I already asked them what's the next event they're doing. They said they have an idea, so the next event I'm definitely coming to. But once I finish moving, um, me, I'm actually getting married. Me, my fiance, who's in the last video, um, 
are actually getting married and we're moving in. So it's like a lot of stuff is going on. But thanks, you know, thanks again. But definitely the next event, I'm definitely going to be there. Um, I actually, um, I'm actually planning on, we're actually supposed to be doing like a, um, I may be actually going to Liberty in June for um, one of my friend's birthdays. And we might just turn it into like, you know, one whoever wants to come to uh, Airsoft and come out to Liberty Airsoft um, paintball and do an outdoor game. So um, if you want, I'll let you know. And, you know, in June, we can go out and play Liberty. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so like I was saying before about the last video, and I'll tell everybody, excuse the background, I'm moving, I have bags everywhere, the place is a wreck, you see the hair the truck, you can see everything, I know the place is a wreck. Um, but my experience is that, that field, HVA. Yes, I felt like that it was, like I said, had a lot of pros. I'm not knocking the pros. I'm not condemning the place. My experience there that day, I felt like I was a lot of people not calling their hits. Now, a lot of people, and a lot of people just, nobody really doing anything about it or really doing too much about it. The whole situation with the full auto, like I said in the comments on my last video, I personally don't believe I got hit with full auto. My cousin said he did, and I believe that he said he did. And it was constant. He wasn't the first person to say that. So constant people on the other team were saying the same thing. Another person was one of my friends who literally arm was looked like he got shot with real bullets and he was getting hit from a distance. Now, HBA, you know, people say, oh, no, HBA shoots like this. Another thing I feel like with that field is that one thing about with airsoft and even paintball, a lot of people are able to change the FPS of their guns on the fly. And a lot of people, especially in paintball, are known for this, where once they get chrono once, they're chronoed, now they can change it because they're not going to get checked again. And then when it comes time to get checked again, all of a sudden it's when they back out the next game. One field that I like going to, um, a Ricochet Tactical, is because they chrono everybody's gun every single game. They take that time to chrono everybody's gun to prevent people from doing that. And also prevents people from saying that, oh, they're running hot, where no, they check their gun every last game. But I get it. It was a lot of people. It was the holidays. I understand that. But... I feel like that they should, at least a lot of other fields, not this HVA, but every other field should intimate that just to prevent, especially get somebody getting hurt. Because you check my gun once, nothing's stopping me from cranking it up and then going out there. It actually really hurt somebody. But fine. Everything else with the whole people not calling the hits, I know that can happen everywhere. And, and I understand that. And that's what I'm just saying. I was not enjoying my spirits because of that. And because I feel like I was calling out especially some refs and refs were doing it, but I get it. A lot of things were going on and everything. Fine. Cool. But all the comments I'm getting behind that video, I feel like was just way too much. And people are caring so much about what I've seen. If, if I'm not saying something that's not true or something that's not triggering some buttons, which I didn't say much in the video. I just said literally one sentence. It was a sentence I said, like, oh, I'm going to be a lot of frustration because people are calling it hits. Da, da, da. I would recommend this place. And all of a sudden, I'm getting all these comments, which I actually thank, oh, thank y'all anyway, because that also helps my channel. And negative comments is still better than no comments. <laughs> so thank every last one of y'all behind that. So I just want to do this video. Whoever watches it, watches it, just to give some clarification on the last video that I did. Sorry about the whole... Um, I mean, listen, if I triggered you in some type of way or you feel like that personally offend you my apologies that wasn't me trying to personally offend you but how i feel about my experience there is how i feel about my experience there if you had a different experience i'm not knocking your experience there i'm not knocking anybody's experience there i'm not knocking anybody's experience anywhere i'm just viewing showing my viewpoint in my videos if you feel like that you was being personally attacked and then like that i'm sorry but that wasn't attention but i'm not going to not view my viewpoint of something i was doing any place that I go play, I show my viewpoint, and that's about it. I leave everything raw. I didn't edit out, make it seem like that. Oh, no, I was only a set or just kind of third. Yes, I was more upset that I should have been. Yes, maybe I was a little bit more, you know, I shouldn't have been upset that I was. But, yes, I don't sugarcoat or edit anything out to make myself look like better than or try to make myself better than what was actually happened. Everything you see in the video was verbatim. All my videos are very little edits, and if it is edited, it's edited for time. But everything that happens, happens. 
I don't sugarcoat anything in any of my videos or may it seem like that I'm, you know, oh, I'm this kill, kill, kill. No, you see all my losses, you see all my L's, you see everything. And that's how I keep it. So people see from my perspective, I'm not sugarcoating everything. So like I get to say, I'm going to end this right here. If you feel some type of way, I apologize. If you feel like that um, I was wrong with my comments or wrong with my viewpoint of the place, I mean, everybody's entitled to all your opinion. You're entitled to all your opinion. I'm not knocking your opinion. I'm not going to sit here and try to make you feel like you're wrong or, you know, call you this or call you that. If you feel like you have to go in somebody's comments and call somebody this or call somebody that or not talk like an adult to get your point across or whatever, that's your point. But then, you know, yet again, I'm also in fault for actually letting you get me to the point where I have to reply. So, you know what? Like I said, if you feel like you need to do that, fine, by all means, go ahead and do it. But at the end of the day, this is my experience. The place is not overall bad, and I'm going to change my statement when I said don't go there. Go there and experience it for yourself, and then you have a better understanding of how you feel about the field. Me, personally, I didn't enjoy my time there. Maybe because I only played one time there, but you know, I, didn't, I drove an hour and a half away from where I live to go there to experience it, and I didn't feel like I enjoyed my time there. I advise every last one of y'all, people that don't go there or never been there, go there, be the judge for yourself. Don't just listen, go by me, by my experiences, and especially by the people in the comments and stuff like that, because everybody's entitled to their own opinion, and people are very passionate about their own fields. I get it, but this is my experience. Anyway, this is your boy from from, from uh, Fumbles from Bastard Gaming. Um, catch you later, and wish everybody a well and happy week, regardless if uh, you like what I said or not. But everybody stay safe, and everybody uh, you know stays healthy and watch out for COVID. Later.